So you should know about reciprocal functions. You should know about trig functions. So now let's look at reciprocals of trig functions. So we're going to look at sine x and then 1 over sine x and then cos and 1 over cos and 10 and 1 over 10. Let's take a look. All right, so this is your very basic f of x equals sine x. And you should know enough about that. We don't have to talk about exactly what that looks like. But knowing what you know about reciprocal functions, I want you to imagine in your head what the reciprocal function of sine x looks like. Okay, pause the video and try to think about it. Try to maybe even sketch it. Pause it. All right, here comes the big reveal. It looks like that. Okay, so you should have been able to get some of that. Uh, let's take a look. Um, sine x had uh, a root here or an x-intercept here, 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 here. Now, when we take the reciprocal, those are going to be asymptotes. Here, uh, here, here with these orange dotted lines. Obviously, heaps more asymptotes all the way down and all the way down here as well. Um, now, what else can we see? Well, when it has a maximum here at pi on 2, 1, this one has a minimum also at uh, pi on 2, 1. Now, that's a coincidence. We'll see when we do some transformations. That's not always true. But the turning points will match up. Um, okay, so that's our sine on x and 1 over sine x. Now, this graph is so useful, it has its own um, name. Instead of it being 1 over sine x, we can just write it as uh, cosec x. Okay, so 1 over sine x can be written as cosec x, they are exactly the same thing. Now, of course, what about cos x? What's the reciprocal of cos x going to look like? Now, here's cos x. Pause the video now. Think about what the reciprocal of cos x looks like. No great surprises here. Uh, one on cos x is these lines in uh, purple. And you can see it looks identical uh, to our previous reciprocal function. It's just been shifted. The same way that sine and cos look identical, they've just been shifted. These are the same. So it's going to have uh, asymptotes at, instead of pi, like with the last one, it's going to have asymptotes at pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, 5 pi on 2, 7 pi on 2, negative pi on 2, negative 3 pi on 2, and so on and so on. And it's got our turning points here matching up with the turning points of cos x. Now, of course, this has a fancy name as well. We call it sec x. So 1 on cos x and sec x are the same. Now, people get confused here, uh, but the way to remember uh, the two of them, let's zoom in on this, is to look at the third letter of our reciprocal. So cosec matches up with sine x, and sec x rep, uh, matches up with cos x. Okay, so that's how you're going to remember which one matches up with which one. To f of x equals tan x. So you can see we get these nice little squiggly lines here uh, with asymptotes at pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, 5 pi on 2, 7 pi on 2, and back the other way, negative pi on 2, negative 3 pi on 2. Now, pause the video. Think about what the reciprocal of this function would look like. Okay, here we have it in green. Uh, now, let's sort of break this down a little bit. You can see that where the tan function, which is in brown, has a root, the green function, the 1 on tan x, has an asymptote. I haven't put in the asymptotes, but you can see an asymptote there. Um, where the tan function, where the brown function has an asymptote, the green function has a root. Okay, so we're kind of reversing here. Where um, the tan function is strictly increasing, you can see it's always increasing, always increasing, the green function is always decreasing. Okay, so um, that is tan x and 1 on tan x. The asymptotes kind of confuse matters slightly, so I won't put in asymptotes for either of them. We'll just cut and paste that into our little folder here. There's the reciprocal of our tan function, which, will we, will, which we will call the cot function. Now, um, cosec, sec, and cot, they all stand for something. Uh, it's actually called cosecant. This one's called secant. And this one's called cotangent. 
So that's where those abbreviations COT, SEC, and COSEC come from. So that's a brief introduction to our reciprocals of trig functions. You now know six trig functions, sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, and cot. Uh, in a future video, we'll apply some transformations to these new functions, cosec, sec, and 